It's bat soup, douche. Eat it. No money for rent, the electric bill, but you're spending money on Heineken? Well, he could not see the Lord's light, and he could not feel his warmth. Yes. Far East Soup Co. Giving out free soup today. We're trying to take on the big guys like Campbell's, like Chef Boy RD. Is it carpaccio or whatever? <laughs> it's actually a meat soup. We're pretty reluctant to say what sort of meat given the current pandemic. Is it a hot soup? I'll give you a hint. This is our mascot. You see what kind of animal he is? Uh, like our mascot was a bat and his name was Wuha, but it's a little bad timing, you could say. Uh, it's actually, it's bat. We thought bat was gonna be the next big thing. It's just bad timing. We got an ad here if you guys wanna check this out. This is about Wuha's uh, backstory. I can't emphasize this enough, man. Any similarity you see between our soup and the whole coronavirus pandemic, it's purely coincidental. Okay. Yeah, so here's the ad, yeah, it's pretty good. New cases being reported in California, Oregon, Washington State. The deadly coronavirus outbreak that started in Wuhan, China, is spreading faster, raising new concerns all around the globe. He came from Wuhan, China, with just a bowl of soup. Hitched a ride to L.A. and offered everybody a scoop. Schools, airports, and supermarkets inside, no one was safe. So Governor Gavin Newsom shut down the whole of California. It's bat soup, douche. Eat it. Do you think that was a clever tagline there? Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, you don't so, think it's a little too aggressive, do you? Oh, God, no. He has permission to be here. This is a parking lot. Private. The parking lot's private? Yes. You own the parking lot? Yes. You must be a very rich man. I am. Sir, they're selling face masks right there. We're not even uh, selling ours. Ours is free. Hello, hey, Bill, I got this guy right here on the parking lot. And a girl, too, selling face masks. Don't forget to mention that to Bill. Yes. And I'm not on there very often, but I'm going to put it on my Facebook. We're out here today peddling the finest, not mushroom soup, not chicken soup. It is 100% bat soup. Here, you want to talk to him? Yeah, I'll speak to Bill. How's it going, Bill? Good to hear from you again, man. Uh, how was the golf trip, by the way, Bill? I've never talked to you before, so I, I need you to leave the parking lot. Bill, I think the real issue here is there's a, a middle-aged woman selling I, face I've masks. I've never talked to you, and I, and I don't golf, so uh, shut the fuck up. Well, uh, Bill, uh, come on, man. There, that's no way to conduct business. Lot. We source our bat directly from Wuhan, China. It's fresh. Well, it's not that fresh. We can't afford the refrigeration bill, so it's coming over on small aircraft. Uh, as our motto goes, it's bat soup, douche. Eat it. Eat it. It was just pure coincidence, man. The next one, it's it's a little more obvious that, that we aren't trying to make this have anything to do with coronavirus. California has been placed into lockdown, putting around 40 million people into isolation, with toilet paper sales up more than 100% from this time last year. Those with poopy bottoms would find they'd have to wait. They put you on a ventilator if you were over 68. Masks, Purell, and isolation, time slow to elapse. A hanky wave to your bank account as the economy co- Tanked. It's got contaminated bat in it, bitch. Hey, Bill. Yes, you want to call the sheriff? All right. Hey, sorry guys, Bill says you gotta pack it up. I need everybody gone. I know, he told me already. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm on Bill's side. Okay. Bill and I work together, yeah, we're partners. I got you, Bill. <laughs> Sir, we're gonna be partners soon. Yeah, yeah. Bill, I'm gonna give you a 5% interest in Far East Soup. Okay, I call, I call the sheriff, I call the sheriff right now. Sir, I'm sorry that uh, this had to come between you and I. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, but, uh, Oh, God damn it. This is creamy soup? Okay, this soup is fucking disgusting. Yeah, people. Pour from a pie. It's uh, about 95 degrees out. I don't think cream of mushroom soup is what the doctor ordered. You look at that and you think anything other than mmm, you don't have a taste bud in your tongue. I hope you worked up an appetite on that cycle. Oh, I did. Because this is some good stuff here. <laughs> Is this really bad? I got a buddy I met in college who's now uh, a PhD student over at the University of Wuhan, so he got me the hookup on the wet market supply. Gotcha. It's the stuff they throw out at the end it's of the, the day. The bats are already sick. Y exactly. So how come I see a Campbell's soup can right there? That is to show how terrible our competitors are. Got it, okay. Cheers. Cheers, brother. 
All right. No better way to build up antibodies than this, right? I think so. Mrs. I want you to drink all this no, in one gulp. After you, then we'll see. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Mmm. Mmm. Fat suit, yum. Mmm. -hmm. New trend. Put it on your menu. You seem like you're about to put in a large order. So let me just show you the third little. He's I don't like that one. You don't like that line? No, that one's a little too... This soup is garnished with your sister's pussy hair. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, jeez. Go fuck yourself. As a market research note, because this was still a demo, you didn't like the, he'll turn you into a phlegmy corpse and fuck you up the ass, and you didn't like the line about the soup. <laughs> you didn't like the line about the soup being garnished with your sister's pussy hair. No, I didn't like that. I thought that was pushing it. I know he's going for the young demographic and they'll probably just love it, but that was a little over the edge for me. Is that too much, that last line? A little bit. Well, <laughs> you know, we have somebody who can bring it up with. Woo-ha! Whoa, whoa, there he is. Oh, shit, you guys are mine. That's big. <laughs> <laughs> Woo-ha! He's a mascot. He's probably a little fat. <laughs> it's Woo-ha! He's just here to sell some soup. No, 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 no. Wuha is a professional. Wuha, what are you doing, Wuha? Oh, come on. No raping. No raping when we're trying to sell soup. So I'm just trying to figure out your, your stick here. You just having fun or? Oh, no. We're honestly trying to move some soup, Mrs. So it's not the Campbell's. It's your actual. It's our actual soup. Again, we take Campbell's. Wuha, show the lady how much you hate Campbell's soup. What the hell? We've been pitching Campbell's cans around all day. We got no respect. Hey, lady, it's, it's Wuha the Bat. He just wants to say hi. Oh, look at the girl. Hey, look at the girl. Uh, 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 it's over there. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. We're just ladling out some soup. Hey, Wuha, can you go back to the bushes? You're scaring the children, man. Nice, man. Nice. The pandemic and the economic devastation it has caused led many renters to wonder how they were going to pay rent this month. We understand the coronavirus and some people out of work, unable to make the rent bill. You fucking rat bastards, huh? Karen Perez says she can't pay her April rent. She doesn't have the money. She's out of work and lives paycheck to paycheck. Pay rent. I don't give a shit if you're not working. Sell some drugs, pimp out some bitches. Find a way. Find a way, man. You fucking find a way. That's what you do in life. Here's an end. Here's an end. You make a meet. If I can't pay April and May, guess what? Then I'm going to owe like three months rent June 1st. We don't want to be solving these people's problems. No. Are we America's problem solvers? That's right. That's what we are. Uh, no, I, no, I mean, that's what we're not. We're not that. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> but hey, don't worry, guys. I mean, if you're thinking, hey, that seems a little insensitive for them to go in and collect rent from people during these unfortunate times. Don't worry. We're only doing it from the lowest, most sleazeball businesses that exist. Not one more French bulldog gets fixed until me and Giovanni get our goddamn money. Listen. Rent's due. It's April, all right? What, I mean, it's May. It's April rent is due. This is for our lawyers. Don't worry about the camera. Everything's negotiable. That's all we're saying. You, you give us a dog, we'll be out of your head. If somebody left behind a little mutt getting its shots, just slip it out the door, we'll be gone. That's all we need. We demand that some kind of animal. Come on, man. rent's due, guys. A Rottweiler, a Dachshund, pass it outside! <laughs> These kids got no homes. The owners of the buildings got no money to pay rent. Doesn't matter to me. I'll throw them out on their asses. And we're not selling anything. I'm telling you, you, go fuck yourself. Hey, man. you know what else you're not interested in? You're not interested in paying rent, apparently, you bastard. Hey, pay your fucking rent, you cocksucker. You Jerk me up. Give me a hand job, Mr. Giovanni. Pay your fucking rent, huh? I'm gonna break those glasses. I'm gonna snort cocaine off the lenses. Where do you get off 
banging my sister, huh? Your bandana makes you look like a fruit, but we know the truth. You're fucking other men's women. Not only did you bang my sister, you didn't give her a call back, all right? She's sensitive. Look at these forearm veins. You get a membership at 24 Hour Fitness, think you can fuck whoever you want? Uh, no, not really. You want to apologize to my sister? Who's your sister? He's being a wise guy. He's implying he fucks you know, too wait, many girls to keep track of. I was boot camp, shithead. Or do you got a gay strip review to go to tonight? Uh, I don't know what that means. It means you're gonna get on stage and act like one of the members of the village people. Are you a stripper? Nah, not really. Show us your abdominals. Nope. Do it. He's got a six pack, he's a male stripper, gay stripper, definitively. If he's flabby, he probably did fuck your sister. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Giovanni, she's into slobs. She is into slobs. See. Let's lift him up. I'm just looking. Uh, dude. Oh, yeah. Gay stripper. Yeah, you got gay a, stripper. Hey, you got a good set of abs. All right, dude. All right. Hey, we're even. We're watch even. it. Careful where you put that pecker, otherwise, he'll come back with the cane. Sir, I don't know what kind of policies you have here. You got a homosexual stripper in line, though. Yeah. He's causing a ruckus back there. That guy's nuts. Let him in. Don't let him in. I'm open minded. I don't know if you are, too. Ah. Uh, this is just the kind of people we're trying to stop. You see this bullshit? You can't pay rent, you answer to me. You answer to my cane. Rent strike. Security. How you doing, sir? I'm sorry, we have one customer past due on their rent. This is the weasel right here. No money for rent, the electric bill, but you're spending money on Heineken? Time's up, kid, all right, let's go. We need your rent. Either pass me a couple Benjamins or slide me one of those cold beers. You got two choices, otherwise you get caned. We can meet halfway with a beer, how about that? What else you got in here? Mr. G hey, get out of my fucking bag. You're buying hard stuff? He's buying proper 12. Yeah, that's what it is. That's that isn't even a fine Irish whiskey. That's where the money's going, now we know. Pay rent, then you won't have to deal with us. He's on our side, sir. We greased his palms, we talk, we like talk, any man. good rent collector should do. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. That guy probably isn't paying his rent. He didn't have a word of protest until I started snooping around his bag. I don't care that you're out of work from coronavirus. I don't care that you got a bum hip. You owe me $3,500 by the end of the month or you're gonna have a lot more to deal with than an injured hip, buddy. Sir, we're not trying to cause any problems. This guy owes us some money. You wanna do what you're doing? Wait till you get outside the county ground. The man with the polo and the aviators? He owes us a little dough and it's causing our boss a lot of stress. That's all we're saying. All I'm gonna say is dollar sign three comma five zero zero. Ring a bell over there, Juan. He's gotta pay us up or offer us some kind of thing, you know, to maybe meet us in the middle, that's all. What about his nice wifey poo over there with the purse? That's for legal purposes, it's for our protection. That's for legal purposes. We're bounty hunters. We see you as a brother in arm. Securitas, brother toss. I don't speak Latin, but you get what I'm getting at, right? What do you say, we follow this guy to his car, you help me subdue him? No, no, I can't do none of that. Lee, you seem like a great guy. Yeah. You got a heavy flashlight on you. That mag light coming down on a yeah. skull yeah. causes a lot of damage. Can't do that though. Boss. Some people don't understand anything but a little violence, you know what I mean? Hey. Do it, but do it. If you want to do that, that's up to you, uh -huh. but make it outside the prop. Ali, uh, what about pocketing us a little bottle of Oxycontin in there? No. You, uh, we'll cut you a nice deal yeah. on the black market, I think. Have a nice day. All right, it goes for three times the amount on the black market, sir. You're a good guy. Thank Enjoy you. Yourself. Hey, what about some ibuprofen? I got a little swelling in my Have ankle. Nice you look like a pimp. Oh, thank you. You look like a nutcracker. Hell yeah, baby, I'll take it. Is there any way we can step inside and see what you guys are doing here? Yeah. Awesome, dude. Appreciate this. Hey, you guys got Instagrams? So we got you. 400,000 subscribers. Thanks, brother. What goes on in here? We feed people. Uh, house people. How many beds do you have here? Like 250 beds. Probably. All of them full every night, I imagine. No, no, not right now. Is it not free, right too? If, if you want to check out what you just hear me him. Yeah. What are you saying about that, us? I think, I think that's so true. you could theoretically grab yourself a bed here for the night and get laid? No. Ain't hey, nobody getting laid in there. No hot chicks or no girls, no, period. No, no hot chicks. I'm a dog. I'll fuck anything. I, I, he will literally fuck anything, man. I'm a Scorpio. Me too. Uh, no, I, November I, 20th, 1989. 24, October 24th. There we go, baby. At the end of the day, this ain't the place. You see, I'm on duty. How's it going, man? How's it going? But, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's Robocop. Oh, no problem, man. We won't film it. What are your guys' names? My name is King David. Let's say like a 6'5 huge guy comes around here and just starts calling everybody a faggot, you know? Is Robocop first guy out? 
Oh, shit, we all finna be You all out? Nice, dude, nice. You, you all kicking his ass that. first? Can't be doing that, huh? Bro, I'm a faggot. You call all of us a faggot pretty much. Yeah. We just call him faggot. Me and you especially, King David. A guy calls me a faggot, uh, he just signed his lease yeah, for a grave plot. Yeah, it's a little bop upside your head. It's okay. Right. You bop, you yeah. bop you, upside you the head. Up. Next time, don't come yeah. up here with that. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. There, there was the one time. Giovanni, he, one time in college, he was really fucking drunk. One he sucked time, a dick. Yeah. He always tries to yeah, deny it. That doesn't mean I'm gay, you know? It's just one time, man, you know? What you mean one time? I just, I, I, sucked, I sucked one dick, dude. That's it. Uh, what? You got, what, man? Uh, what about the Instagram oh, shout outs? Man. It's just one. King David, the homophobia. Oh, man, it's, just, it's just one, man. It's just one dick, man. The fuck. Hey. I'm sorry for outing you, man. Why would you do that, man? I'm just gonna stick with those cheese raviolis and that minestrone soup today, sir. Yeah, we have a new promo for $15. You can get a bottle of wine. What about just a nice glass of Pinot Grigio? Yeah, the Pinot Grigio is not on sale right now. It was Cato or Cabernet. Are you French by any chance, sir? No. Oh, you, you say Cabernet like a Parisian. I'm just confused. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I speak French, so that's why. It shows. Okay. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I got you a nice spaghetti dinner. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, I got you a glass of fucking, Cabernet. Uh, fucking olive garden? What about, should I fucking pound the cab and then fucking <laughs> throw everything down? That's why I got you the Cabernet. There she is. GM. She might owe us a little of that moolah. As we call it. And that ain't an Italian dish. That's right. It ain't an Italian fish. Excuse me? Orlando or Leandro Tonell. Leandro? Yeah, Leandro. It's Italian. I have a little message. Uh, do you know Alma Benitez, huh? Yes. All right, well, uh, listen to me. You got a bottle over there? Make a little toast. Oh, it's a bottle. It's a bottle, yeah. So maybe we want to just take that home, huh? Let me tell you something. Alma Benitez, she fucking owes me money. All right, so you tell her. That Mr. Giovanni came by here and he wants his main rent paid in full. You understand me? You tell Alma. Hey, and get you your bus Alma. boy. Tell him to learn how to pronounce the names of the fucking wines. It ain't Cabinet. Let me tell you. Pay your fucking rent, guys. Don't be a lowlife. Fucking Cabernet, it's an Italian restaurant. You gotta Cabernet. be able to speak the French and the Italian names. What is that bullshit Cabernet, huh? What the fuck? I'm actually really upset. Those cheese raviolis are one of my favorite food items available anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, building another cross. He's doing a Jesus bit again. I admit it, not too original. The difference this time though, it is Easter. And we're beside one of the most prominent mega churches in Southern California. So prominent, in fact, that Donald Trump has promised to tune into the broadcast today. President Trump said this during a White House news conference hours before the service. But Easter Sunday, Palm Sunday, I'm going to be watching tomorrow live from Riverside, California. We're going to see if we can't barge in, get ourselves on the feed, and failing that, I'm just going to walk around the area uh, preaching the Gospels. It's Jesus time again. Well. Actually, remember this time, I'm a very zealous pastor. I thought this would uh, rope people into my cause. You gotta shock people right now. That's the only way to get them out of their COVID-19 complacency. It's Easter. Shelter in place, I'll punch you in the face. Get into your local church. I gotta change my voice. I gotta be more Southern from here on out. <laughs> yeah. Sir, I am Minister Charles E. Elwood. Easter Sunday is a day when we should celebrate the birth of Christ and I think you are doing a mighty fine service by remaining open on this day. Isaiah 58 1 says, He who preaches the word must lift up his voice like a trumpet. And that is what I intend to do. So, are you familiar with what Matthew said to the Romans in 1243? He said, When the unclean spirit is gone out of a person, it passes through waterless places seeking rest. Those are the places I intend to find on this Easter Sunday. The places devoid of water. Shelter in place shall not be heated by me or other God-fearing Christians around the country. Definitely cops. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. I mean, and look at that. It looks like they're definitely broadcasting over there, too. Media building. There's an open fence. If there were no cops, we'd be going right in there. Is the good reverend giving a broadcast right now? Yeah. I believe he is, yeah. 
Wow. It's all being done online. Oh, I'd love to tune in, but is there any way I can get myself and my cameraman into the studio and say a couple words to the good president? I just want you to remember that Greg Laurie is a blasphemer. Uh -huh. According to Leviticus Blue 42, the true word of God comes from me and me alone. And I would not want the leader of this great nation, the commander in chief, to tune into the service of a blasphemer. It'll put the rest of our lives in peril in this great country. All right, sir. If there was a church you said that was getting busted in the valley, we might be able to find a church. Just go to smaller churches? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we've already fucking come out here. We might as well hustle a little bit. Oh, geez, that is a dead cat. You want to revive it or not? I've said it in my sermon, the end of times, the best of times, that not only will the COVID virus strike this town like a plague on Egypt, there will also be the plague of dead felines. Now watch me revive it. I command ye reanimate. I command ye. By the word of Judges 2 colon 1, I say the death of Joshua. I say the death of Joshua. Dismiss the people. The people of Israel went each to his inheritance to take possession of the land. How did that cat die? It looked like it just got tired. <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling down, I just think about what Nehemiah would have said about rebuilding the wall. The high priest rose up with his brothers, the priests, and they built the sheep gate. They consecrated it and set its doors. They consecrated it as far as the tower of the hundred, as far as the tower of Hanel. When I think of sheep and walls, I used to think of my times before coming to God when, hell, it ain't nothing for me to hop over a farmer's fence, infiltrate the pasture, and have holy congress with that sheep. Or should I say, unholy congress. <laughs> yeah. I used to be quite a sinner, but I opened up my practice, South Hill Baptist Church, okay. with my faithful cameraman over there, and the sheep fucking's a thing of the past. <laughs> All right. It's nothing to chuckle at, sir. Ain't nothing funny about redemption in the eyes of the Lord. Do you have a dark side to you? Not really, I'm pretty good. You never metaphorically scaled a farm fence into the sheep pasture? Metaphorically, not really, no. What about literally? No. Either. Sir, I insist I perform an exorcism on you before I leave this establishment. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm with you. I say we find a little church that doesn't have a, uh, a college-educated security guard with a gun. Hello. Next check-in on this disastrous so far video shoot. We found a church that is at the very least giving drive-up prayers to people, offering coffee and cookies. I'm gonna go in there, try to make friends, seem appreciative of what they're doing, and then once they trust me, I'm going to uh, spring the creepy stuff. Reverend Johnny Elwood. I'm gonna tone down my accent are you, are you a little bit. sticking to John? I'm sticking to John. Okay. There's been a little bit of fluctuation <laughs> between John and Charles. John is the more biblical name, is it not? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Praise the Lord, he is risen. God bless you too, sir. I just wanted to tell you fellas and ladies, we're from South Hills Baptist Church up in Bakersfield. We just wanted to come down to LA and see how people are handling the COVID crisis during Easter Sunday, and it just tickles my heart to see the ears still open, offering prayer. We're content and we appreciate it. If you want to pray for us, we accept it. God bless you and what you're doing. Are you offering drive up prayers to members of your church? What we're doing right now is actually we're doing a drive up service. Uh, we're actually going to have a Holy Communion as well. Oh, beautiful. And uh, so basically everybody's going to be parked out here in the front and we're just going to have service. We're just going to have live service like we normally do. Wow, and what time will that be taking place? Uh, yeah. Basically within the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm Johnny Elwood. Just wanted to say hello. What was your name, sir? Jacob. Any guesses as to where I'm going to be in 20 minutes? <laughs> uh, I've got one good one. First of all, it amazes me how trusting those people were of a crazy-eyed dude with a cross. And the way I had identified myself, a, a Baptist reverend, I don't know what denomination they were. Is there any chain of command in Christianity, like the military? Like, is there any way they would know right away that I was full of shit? Uh, no, no. So if I just throw out hallelujahs and praise Jesus, oh, absolutely. they open their arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Technical difficulties, gentlemen. Everything all right? Always. Always. <laughs> the worst of times, as if we haven't had it hard enough. Yeah. This is beautiful. Quite the turnout, too. Yeah. 
We expected a little bit more, but it's, it's okay. Well, it's rainy, the virus. At South Hills Baptist, our attendance is down to three. We're still operating a little bit without the blessing of the law, but as long as we have the blessing of the Lord. That's what's important. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can everybody hear me out there? Hallelujah. Christ is risen. There's no tomb that can hold him in. They had to set him free. He saw some That was Romanian, by the way. Romanian? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So if, you, if you'd like to, get, uh, to have a couple of words while uh, we, we can make, we can squeeze you in. We have just a, a few messages, a couple, what you call it? We can uh, a few words would be great. In English though, right, Jacob? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no Romanian. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I can try my hand. It'll come out gobbledygook. Yeah. We're trying to get our social media presence going over at South Hill Baptist on Facebook, on Instagram, and I think it's the platform of sinners, but Twitter as well. Yeah. We'll put some content on Twitter. Get it out there, man. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Christ. They need to know that Jesus is above this virus, that all those that are in Christ are above this virus. Yes, sir. What would be beautiful yeah. for today is for, for a cloud to just break and just some sun to, hmm. to, to bleed through, you know? I'll just pray on it. And I'm sorry, sir, I didn't catch your name. My name is George. Yeah, this is great. I wish the weather would give us a little bit of relief. Yes. I know Jacob's very excited about getting a nice beam of sunshine. Yes. Consummate showman, he seems like. But he attracts a real good crowd over here. It's full of power. It was, it was in jail for seven years. Oh, I can relate to his story so was, much, sir. Yes, it was in the gang, it was a danger person. Yes, I knew I liked him. I could feel the magnetism right when I approached the man. How was your lovely wife, George? Oh, I cannot imagine. Anything I said, uh -huh. they believe. It's coming from God. Oh. They give me freedom to do anything I want. Beautiful. Beautiful. They give me nine kids. Nine children. Gosh. Yes. What a beautiful thing to hear. Hi, Mama. It's okay. You okay? Yeah. Somebody's here to, you know, some, to do his stuff. But, you know, God is in control. Don't worry about it. Met your husband, George, your son, Jacob, a beautiful family. And I just want to praise you and all praise be to Jesus. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Glory be to his holy name. Hallelujah. His is the victory. Hallelujah. for today we have uh, brother John that's actually just coming around walking the streets here and you know what it was beautiful that he came up and he said hey what are you guys are doing here is a beautiful thing and this is John here obviously he's taking up the, the image of Christ here God bless you brother God bless you brother John and uh, go ahead John I would just like to say that I'm quite frankly humbled by the warmth and the love that I felt from Reverend Jacob, from George, his father. This family was so kind to me on my approach. That Praise God! That myself as a pastor from South Hills Church in Bakersfield, I just had to think, I ain't no dang good, but I'm gonna keep it brief. Hallelujah. Woe to those who are heroes at drinking wine and valiant men in mixing strong drink. 
who would get, acquit the guilty for a bribe and deprive the innocent of his rights. This passage from Isaiah 5, 3, I suppose it is a sort of confession because there was a time when I was a lost man. Come on now. I was a lost man. That's right. I told George and George told me that Jacob has been through similar times. Yes. When he could not see the Lord's light and he could not feel his warmth. Yes. I was unemployed. I was living off the government. I was drinking two pints of whiskey a night. Oh God. Rudderless at open sea. <laughs> And, and I gotta be honest, sometimes I think I've turned my life over to God and I'm moving in the right direction, but then sometimes I think I'm a phony, that my knowledge of scripture is inadequate, that I put on a little bit more of a southern accent than I, genuine, than I generally speak in just to give myself the aura of a good old southern Baptist. And uh, I just wanna say once again that I am humbled and you are so blessed to be at the finest church in all of Southern California. God bless you, God bless you John. Jesus loves you, man. Jesus loves you so much. Thank you so much for giving me, Johnny Elwood, a chance to speak to all of you. God bless you, Pastor. This is the product of Jesus' blood. God bless you. And this is what happens God when one turns his face towards the Lord. His face will shine in the presence of his enemies. Hallelujah. May God bless John and everything that he's doing for God. And may he be a soldier in the army of the Lord because God has elected him to spread the ministry of the you, gospel. Sir. And God will glorify his name through him. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. I'm humbled, sir. God bless you. I'm so humbled. Let's worship the Lord. I'm so sorry. That was beautiful. Hey, it was beautiful. It. Beautiful. God bless you. God Let's bless. worship God. He's Wuhan's fucking bat. Corona.